360 frontal. And I thought, what is 360 about this? This is <laughs> Welcome back to the SAS Club. It's your girl Rachel and thank you for being here today. If you are new to my channel, please do not forget to cut the traffic jam in that comment section and then forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you are returning, thank you so much. Your participation in my channel means the world to me. So thank you for being here. And today we're going to be doing a video on wigs. So I am a wig connoisseur. I'm a wig connoisseur and um, heck your girl i did something crazy like i never click on things that say oh um we for 50 dollars a week for 35 dollars because i know they're fake all right i never do that but for some reason <laughs> my my love and greed for wigs got the better of me and i saw this thing on facebook and i decided to click it anyway let's go into this video you want to know what i did and what the outcome was what i ordered versus what i got keep watching this video don't be dirty all right do not be dirty welcome back so i, I saw those wigs and they looked pretty nice obviously the seller is from the us and i looked at the pictures and i looked at the comment section and it looks like they had a few um, quite a lot of comments and people who had shopped with them so i thought okay this is legit so your girl went ahead and i bought i ordered <laughs> the deal was by two for 45 pounds five forty five 45 dollars and so i ended up buying three weeks from them okay now this is a big deal it came in this pack so as I was saying, I ordered on the 2nd of January, right? I didn't hear from them, nothing happened. And I must say, I was quite disappointed with the way they organized their delivery and everything. But go into the comment section and tell me what you think about this week. I will be giving my final view of this product and everything. It's a hell of a story because in the end I had to turn down apologies to them. A willing apology of course so so this is how this came via hammers hammers is crazy i'm sorry it was torn already and i thought maybe because it, it was shipped from abroad i had to tell you to check like i said i ordered three okay so three was for 78 dollars and i paid um 57 50 57 56 pounds um including delivery three wigs can you imagine? It must be in wig heaven. Anyway, so this was the red and this was the blonde. <laughs> and this was the black. Now I'm going to attach photos of each of this wig on their page, what it was and what you will see what it is. And you will tell me what you think of each of them. And if you would wear them, or not so this is week number one it's only rd003 yeah rd003 so week number one behold i'm not going to judge i'm just going to review the product candidly and um one thing i have already noticed about them is this is obviously this is synthetic hair this is grade maybe 10 synthetic hair because there's some synthetics that don't even tangle like you use them over a period of time before they tangle and this is new i haven't used it and it already feels all tangly this is wigardi so Wigardi it has a beautiful color love the length the waves are falling out so beautifully and yeah i love the volume it creates when the when you sort of 
brush it out. But can you see this? This is a lot of pulling out. See? What will be left when this is done? Look at this. It is a lot. That's why I said it's like great 10 synthetic hair because there's some synthetic hair that don't really pull out. You wear them and they don't pull out. When I was younger, as a teenager, I could wear some of the synthetic hair for three weeks, all right? And you would love it. Well, it's synthetic hair. But what I'm saying is it wouldn't pull out like this. So this is number one disappointment. The fact that, I mean, come to think of it, let's, let's be realistic. There was no way I was going to get um, human hair for, for that amount. So I knew what I was going into, but I expected it be more of quality. That's number one disappointment that they didn't make an effort to get a product that will be more durable. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. I'm also going to attach photos of each of those wigs, what was advertised versus what I got right so i feel like they could have gotten uh, a better quality of synthetic hair that wouldn't pull out this much all right but yeah like i said the color is bomb very beautiful it's a luscious color and it does work well with my skin tone i can't deal with hair like this hair that i can't run my fingers through without it tangling look at this this is unbelievable come on in this time and age my number two disappointment was what this the finishing is horrible or oh, I, I don't know this is plain rubber i don't know where they got it from but it's white i don't know if you guys can see it and i don't think i can remedy that i don't know if i can correct this misdeed this great injustice to the hair world to the wig world but i love the length so i will find a way to sort of work with this because we we connoisseurs always find a way this is sheer let me know your thoughts in the comment section okay if you would wear this would you wear this sort of product would you wear this color are you bold enough? <laughs> if I didn't tell you, would you think it's synthetic? Just let me know in the comment section. All right, darlings. All right, so this is it for Wig Art. We're moving on to the next. This is BK. And my number one request for a hair I'm going to wear is it has to be full. It has to have volume and all of that. But because it's got volume, I don't hate on it so much. It's still, don't get me wrong, it still has plasticy thing that is supposed to be. A closure. I don't know. Can they afford a tiny closure? This size just a real closure. This is so wrong. If you're gonna do something, just do it, alright? Don't do some half ass job that Okay. I'm just gonna shut up, alright. I don't want you guys not to go buy a wig from them because I'm saying um all of this, but I'm saying what I'm saying is my God's honest truth. Like it is a bad job all right this is 2021 and our job is to slay you know or to level up you can't you can't level up in this all right i'm trying to color it but because it's plastic it won't let bloody excuse my friend ladies this is what happens when you're greedy and you know that it's well, let's not say it's great. I just like variety. I like people who know me know that today I look like something else. My one of my friends actually said to me that you would make a really great spy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> sorry, I I'm not laughing at the wig. I'm laughing at how I um look with it. So. On their page, they describe this as 360 frontal. And I thought, what is 360 about this? This is me. <laughs> I, oh, boy. I look like um, a bird that is about to fly. This is horrible. 
What is this? Huh? What is this? Look at this. Look at my ashy edges from Nigeria showing. Way. Listen. This is what. Who is. <laughs> you see, this is a wig that is is attempting to defy styling. All right. This what what what. What am I supposed to do with this? See? I feel like this could work. It's very difficult. Like, I'm the queen of styling wigs, but this shit is giving me palpitation. No woman. But I feel like I could look cute in it if I like put something on top of it and hide this horrible, horrible finishing. Well, guys, just let me know. What do you think of the second wig with DK? I like the volume. Maybe if I put some oil or some um, Lucha body on it, it may just, I don't know, you know, it may be. I had the pain belly. This thing that Nigeria, we Nigerians say that cheap things hurt. It's true. See now. Can you see now? Somehow it's ending up giving me the Queen Shiba kind of vibe, you know, just <laughs> wear this out. People are going to think you're just, you're a learner. And I'm not a learner. Come on, guys, I'm not a learner. You can actually just pack it and let the back just flow and it'll look nice and wear some really bold jewelry um, and it'll work. But this shit right here is not going anywhere, guys. Don't get it twisted. I've tried. I've found powder. Um, I've found concealer. I've found everything. And it won't work. But yeah, this is it. You know, you can do this with it. Or you can just, you know, leave it be. All right. I'll be wearing it with a lot of woolly hats on top. I mean, it's winter anyway. It's not so bad, is it? Okay, guys. So this is wig number two. I'll tell you guys which is my favorite and why it is my favorite. See so the inside. I'm not. I'm not really bothered about the inside. It sits nicely. It's. It's not too tight. It's not loose. I may attach a bigger elastic band underneath to make it more firm. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So buy to wig BK. Let's move on to our final wig GD. They all have very posh names on the website. Don't get me wrong, but it's not my website, so I don't have the names. Now this was it. Okay, so this are both in 20, um, 20 inches. This is in 20 inches and this is in 20 inches as well. Hold on. Yes. This is in 18. Black is in 18. Um, Miss Red here is in 20 inches. So 18, 20. And this is in 22 inches. So with GD, like the others, they all have a color to match there colors so this is blonde and it's blonde or white and the net is white as well so this like i said i altered it in 20 um 150 grams in 24 inches and 22 inches and it's really way i love the waves the way they fall i love how see but it's the same problem in kusaki land see it's too much 
shedding. It shed the shedding is just too much because I haven't worn this. So if it's shedding this much, see the inside is already looking thrashy and tangly, and that is my major problem. See. Even though this volume is supposed to be much, I can see the net through here. That is not nice. That is so not nice. Especially because this is a blonde wig. This is a really gold blonde wig. So it shouldn't be that way. But yeah, so let's try this on. And see what GT has got to offer. They're just sliding off my head. Come back. I own you, boo. Stay on, all right? Stay on. Okay. Hmm. Mm. So. Mm -hmm. See? It, you can't the brush doesn't go through it seamlessly it gets stuck for a new wig that's absolutely unacceptable i'm sure if i went on amazon i bought something for 10 pounds i'll still get a better product a better experience see doesn't pull through see i haven't dealt with this kind of thing for decades and trust me it's not a good feeling i love that it's wavy okay i love that it's wavy and it falls nicely i've been looking for i've been looking to get to get a blonde wig and a grey one oh, this doesn't even come close but it was an adventure so like I was saying earlier on when I ordered and I didn't get anything from them I went on the website and I couldn't track anything I then sent them an email after a week saying oh what's going on i haven't heard from you guys has um because on the page you were saying um uh, dispatched um track and when you click on the track nothing would happen and then i sent them an email saying your tracking is not working um it's saying on your website dispatch but i i can't track so i would like to know when i'm going to get my um items and i sent the email after a week and no reply i didn't get any response from them whatsoever which really upset me and then i thought after about 10 days i thought this must be a scam so i went on that page and said i ordered from you guys and i haven't heard from you so i just want to say if you've scammed me i'm going to really go on facebook and and um pull you guys out there and tell everyone that you guys are scammers so there were people in their page who were asking about delivery and stuff and i went on and told them that you know what this company is not legit do not order from them because i ordered from them and they haven't delivered after a week plus and they're not replying to my email neither can i track my my items so and i said to them if he arrives i will let you know but until then shop with them at your own peril <laughs> <laughs> yes i said it I said what I said. You can't put your customers hanging, especially your first time customers. So that was what I did. And so when he arrived yesterday, with my kind heartedness, I went on Facebook and went on their page and said, listen, I'm sorry I, I, I put you guys out there and said you were a scammer. I have got my item. Yeah. And so I'm doing this video. I'm sure it'll help them because some of my viewers are obviously going to shop with them but just be aware so you're going to get the plasticky thingy in the middle that is called a closure 
frontal and the hair is obviously synthetic and you can't use this for even six months i don't see how that's going to happen because it's you see you can see this on the video it's my first time wearing it and see how much of it is shedding the shedding is unbelievable and then it's tangly as well really tangly the idea is great i love how the hair falls yeah but i want to be able to put my hands on my hair and let it come out freely you're not going to get that with this hair and if you're looking for a natural finish that's not with this hair because see this is plastic and it's very annoying i just wanted to shine the light on this company this is what transpired you know the least they can do to their clients is to let them know answer their email that others are on the way and it's safe and not to ignore them if i'm shopping with you for the first time and i can't communicate with you in this world there's so much scamming going on i'm not a magician i can't get into your mind and know what you're thinking or what is going on so if you can't communicate with me i'm going to assume that and conclude that you are a scammer you've scanned me out of my heart and money all right so just do yourself a favor and Talk to your clients. I, as an entrepreneur, I like to, I like to speak to my clients, and that's why I went on there to pull that put up that apology because I'm an entrepreneur, and um, we're all hustling for this money. So I didn't want to like you know stain their name and their business. So I went out there to apologize. Yeah. So this is it, and. I'm not in the least. I wasn't expecting like human hair because that money was too little for me, human hair. But at least I was expecting good synthetic hair. Okay, I just wanted to have the fun of the colors and nice hair to change looks and all of that. But it's not what I expected. No, this closure, the finishing, or the quality, it's poor. It's just not what I, I would have expected. And it's not what I would sell to anyone in this day and age so that's my view about it that being said i like this one the most because it's why it's um blonde and i've been wanting the blonde wig for a long time even though i feel like the other two fit me more all right and complement my skin tone more but this your boo your boo is gonna rock it anyway all right i'm gonna rock it I'm going to rock it with woolly hearts. I'm going to find a way to style them. Don't worry, follow my Instagram and you'll be seeing them. I'll be posting pictures of them when I rock them. And yeah, this is it. So go in the comment section and let me know what your thoughts are about this purchase. And I'll leave below the links for this wigs, each and every one of them. And I'll show you the pictures, like I said of before and after and tell me what you think would you wear this would you wear any of these colors and would you wear this sort of hair that is not human see how the back looks it's not full it's not my kind of thing it's the one that i, I ordered for most volume that is the least is the most scanty what an irony anyway guys that is it for this video. I'm not impressed. But um, thank you for watching. And do let me know what your favorite is and which you prefer on me. And um, follow me on Instagram. Like my video. Share it, darlings. Share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. You guys are the bestest and the realest. The realest there is, all right? I love you. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe and stay sassy and beautiful.